Mopork here, doing a defense strategy guide for Omen. Let's get right to it. Generally speaking, on the pistol round, I like to buy armor and full utility with classic pistol, but for sites with longer sight lines, I do sometimes buy one teleport, paranoia, and a ghost. For the buy rounds, second round martial after winning is pretty solid. For the most part, I will prefer Vandal and Guardian over the Phantom due to the longer ranges, and eventually an Operator. Defending is fairly simple, there's only one sightline you have to spot, very easy for an Operator to hold. However, trying to contest the orb is nearly impossible unless they're completely ignoring C. Solo pushing is very risky and you would usually want a teammate with you in case you ran into a Lurker. As Omen, you can abuse Teleport if people decide to Ego Challenge you at long. Usually you open up a pick from here, teleport across, and re-peek while they're usually expecting you to re-peek from the platform. Usually, if you are using the Operator, your opponent is a lot less likely to contest C from long, so Garage would be your main threat. Don't forget to change your starting positions around the map to remain unpredictable for the opponent. Retaking with these two smoke spots are a safe staple to use. It cuts half of the site to focus on at anyone playing around the platform and behind these boxes. If you do get a pick on opponents playing there, don't be afraid to try to teleport across and take their spot quickly. Your enemy often doesn't expect people to push from that angle that quickly. I usually like to open with this high smoke to cover a teleport up to these boxes. As the smoke falls, there are usually people playing on these spots here to get a cheeky pick before fully committing to the site. If you're being rushed down C, you have an easy team-wide blind you can hit from these boxes to get easy kills. If you're rotating to C from other sites and you have your ultimate, going here is a valuable location as it instantly pinches your opponent and allows you to deny a bomb plan on that side of the site. Moving on to Garage, this is one of my favorite places to play as I can abuse this powerful one-way smoke, usually forcing a large amount of utility out of the opponent. You have the option of putting the smoke on this side to avoid getting breach flashed on this wall. More often than not, you'll be smoked out of the window. You can teleport up to these boxes to get a cheeky pick and leave, but I wouldn't recommend using it more than once. You can counter a push by using your blind as they run through the doorway while playing safe, since most of your abilities can go through walls. You can quickly smoke off C long if your opponent is split pushing and rotate to help your C player, while one of your rotators can watch the exit out of the window area. You can assist other sites from garage very quickly and easily. You can throw blinds for B site and C long, and you can throw smokes anywhere on the map from here. Moving on to B, you have very powerful positions to play to blind for your teammates down A short, as well as garage doors and garage hall. You have vertical locations to mix angles up on your opponent as they try to push into B. One strategy I like to use is a smoke that hangs over mid-window. Your opponent will be able to peek this before the smoke detonates, but there's a gap on the right that your opponents will try to peek through, and you can just pre-aim this and pre-fire this location for an easy kill, and anyone that decides to try to jump out of the window. Occasionally I use this strategy if my opponent smokes mid-door, or if I get heavily pressured and smoke myself off mid-door. I'll teleport to this cubby and continue smoking from here. The goal is to get at least two kills from this location and then teleport back to B. If you let the first guy pass, subsequent enemies tend to relax a little bit. However, a person who walks up on this angle can still see you if he's paying attention, so it's usually a good idea to open up on that player. Would only recommend doing this once, maybe twice towards the later rounds if you did one early. Retaking B, you have the option of teleporting safely to the back wall from C side to try to get an angle on enemies from here. You can also use your ultimate here when rotating from the other sites to get here quickly. Using a deeper smoke here can allow you to teleport on the long boxes and get good angles on people. Since most plant situations on B have enemies watching from this headshot angle and window, you can attempt to use your ultimate behind mid-window. You can also use your blind here before you do it so he can't hear you directly behind him. Moving on to A, it should be easy to control this orb every round since you have a free smoke. You can try to go for a pick early before going for the orb, just remember that enemies rushing through short might be able to cut you off if you take too much time. Playing Heaven is a safe bet, though you'll usually get smoked off. You can use your teleport toward the ground here and surprise your opponent, and then teleport back up, using your opponent's smoke to your advantage. There are a lot of angles you can play and abuse teleports on this site. Be creative! This one way is tricky to land, but a very powerful short rush stopper. Aim for between the wall and the disc, and you will have very clear vision on your opponent here while they have nothing on you. Retaking the site usually involves a crossfire here. Before pushing, you can communicate to your teammates, peeking into this crossfire that you're blinding them. These smokes here are also a good way to cut this crossfire off. This falling smoke is a nice smoke to use to cover your teleport to these boxes, just like in C, and get a cheeky pick before pushing in. Good ultimate spots to use are this cubby, like the one in C-Long, though more risky because the ranges here are much shorter. 
Ulting behind these boxes, or even on top of these boxes, is pretty solid as well. As long as you throw a smoke that blocks on long and even short, as your opponent will think you're teleporting into long or deeper into short, as the sound cue here is very ambiguous. Hope this video helped. If it did, leave a comment down below. If it didn't, leave a comment anyway. I'll be trying to do defense and attack strategies for Omen in all the maps, as well as other content in the future. Once again, this is Mopork, and until then, see you next time.